Hi guys, welcome to uh, another video. Um, I'm doing this one because I had a rapture dream. I wrote it down, so I'm gonna be reading it um, as I go. So, uh, well, I'm first first gonna start off uh, the video by saying um, that um, Jesus is the only way, and. Um, the Bible is the only true word and the only way to salvation is to believe that Jesus died for us on the Calvary Cross. He, uh, his blood washed away our past, present and future sins and He rose on the third day and through grace we may be saved. Once saved, always saved. That means that when we say once saved, always saved, it means that you're not going to keep on sinning on a uh, daily base or you won't change your ways. You will eventually change your ways because sin will come and get scum for you and it will come and, and, and just bite you and eat you inside and, and let you know that you are doing something wrong. And until you don't change, you won't get that heaviness or that... Uh, you won't get that 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 comfort and you always feel convicted and it happened to me so many times and at times it still happens a lot less right now because I'm trying to be the most I can obedient to, to the Lord and um, one of the uh, convictions I had recently was that uh, I was living in fornication because I, even though I have three kids and I, I'm with my wife, it's going to be 11 years. I uh, was never married in front of a, a pastor and um, it was really, really bothering me and, and, and God was telling me, you have to do it, you have to do it, you have to do it. I couldn't, I couldn't live that way so I did go and, and get married in front of a pastor and the stress release the anxiety everything just flew for me and I feel amazing right now and um, like I said your ways are gonna change from on a daily basis and eventually the sin can't stay because you won't be able to function like I mean not that you won't be able to function but what I'm trying to say is that it comes and get you and it's stronger than you so you have no choice to change and that's God's love because he knows what's right for you so I'm gonna go ahead and um, and read up my uh, rapture dream so it was a sunny day I was going to the wall uh, uh, the mall walking on the sidewalk and suddenly I literally flew up it was exactly like, I'm giving an example, like Iron Man. You know when he flies up, he feels he feels the speed. It was a speed undescribable. It was so fast. And I felt the wind and everything surrounding me was like so tight and just lifting myself up. And I felt the clouds, the wind, everything. I could have felt literally everything. So once I, I, I flew up, I got there and I had a moment of darkness but it was really not a bad feeling so all of a sudden I saw an angel that said follow me and I'll lead you to the right path so I followed him and I entered into heaven it was insane how many souls there was and it was amazing um, the world was right in the middle we could literally see them, the, the, uh, the world turning and everyone was inside heaven and it was a beautiful place like literally peaceful you can name it beautiful um, and then funny enough I had Barry Scarborough which is uh, he, he, he does YouTube videos I'm sure you guys know him he was beside me uh, I was going around uh, I was going around and 
as I was going around and speaking to him and just looking around, I saw a figure and at first I wasn't sure. And then I don't want to say like um, it was God because many people say they see God. I still believe that nobody's seen God. I st I, that, that's my opinion. So that's when people say they see God in visions. I know it's really hard to, to believe it, but listen, that's my opinion. So after I've seen that 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 figure, um, I looked on my left side, and there was a huge seat, and he was standing on it. When I say he, is because that's what I think I saw, and so I looked and said to him, Father. But with no thoughts, he answered me, Yes, it's me. And I said, is it really, is, is it really, like, am, am I really here? And he goes, yeah, you're really here, you know. So, um, sorry, it's just because I'm trying to explain what I'm reading, so. So when he told me, yes, it was like as if I should have known that I was there. That's what I wanted to say. Sorry about that. Um, where am I at? Sorry. So I left with Barry going back on it in a spiritual body to get the truth out of the gospel out there to people to get them to salvation. That's what I felt. So I started speaking with Barry and I told him, um, I think this of uh, my family member, like I was actually telling him, I think one of my family is saved. This one is not. While I was saying all of that, like, I already knew who was and who wasn't. So then I ended up going around and went in my house, like while I was on earth. I saw my I saw my mom and I went to speak to her. She was standing in the entrance door. I saw her, and then as she was standing in this in in the in the entrance, um, there was a taxi, like probably a Uber. I stopped, like literally one shot in on the street and I, I I was visualizing that you know so I felt anger from the person that was coming out of the car once they came in um, once they came in sorry so once once the person came in because my mom actually opened the door so he came in and me and Barry were looking at at each other and and we're like what what's happening so my mom grabbed uh, sorry the the person grabbed two coins he threw a 10 cent and a five cents and with full full of, full of anger so Barry looked at me and he said um, this is the generation of today, so that that figures that I, I could, I could have, from what my understand, from my understanding, I felt uh, like like Barry was telling me, look at the generation of today, they're lost souls, you know. So we kept exploring the earth, and I saw a smaller, my smaller daughter, she was in a regular room in front of a small desk. So what I saw in my dream as I was explaining to her and guiding her. Um, on what was the mark of the beast and not to take it on her right hand the mark was a, a little grain of rice and on her left uh, oh sorry it was a little grain of rice and on her left I saw the corner of my eye um, hellfire and burniness of people burning inside the flames So we kept on going around, speaking about several things. Um, I was happy. I was saying to myself, finally, it's done. I'm here. I felt amazing peace going uh, going around effortlessly, uh, exploring. Um, and then, boom, I woke up and I was like, I can't 
it can be that I'm back here. And tears just came down my eyes and I was thanking the Lord for giving me that dream. Um, I'm sorry that I took like a uh, time to say it during the video and I'm, I'm stalling a lot. It's because I wrote it and maybe I should have revised it before uh, saying it. But um, basically what I'm trying to get at is that I think many believers today have that 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 vision of saying, uh, sorry, they have that thinking of saying that God will still delay. But I'm in Canada and I follow many pastors and uh, watchmen's and um, I really think there's something going on and it's been a while, right? Since uh, last gen, uh, since this January uh, 2020. But now it's just I find I find that the, the bird pains are just rising, but the thing is we still have to have hope. Titus two thirteen and that blessed hope of the glorious return of God, of Jesus, um, and just to take a, a, a second pray and get into the Word because sometimes we get distracted on to on 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 what's going on and we try and we forget to to go back in the bible and and try to ask god um is it is it really happening is this right like we have to try to pray more and try to focus more on prayers and speaking to god and only um Focusing on when the rapture is gonna be, I have I have no problems. I've, I actually appreciate all the work that everybody's doing, and I I'm really interesting. I'm really interested in it also. But the thing is, is that I think we we have to focus more on what's currently happening and what might happen, than saying that the rapture is gonna be today, tomorrow, or after tomorrow. And I'm not accusing nobody. It's just that setting a date is very hard because the bottom line is only God knows. So what we can do is try to get as many souls as we can uh, to Jesus. And basically that's the work that God wants us to do. And I just wanted to thank uh, many, many people on YouTube. I'm, I'm watching many people. Uh, like uh, J.D. Farag, Jack Hibbs, Tom Huge, um, I, uh, Lisa, um, also um, Chad, Barry, uh, Amir. Like seriously, you guys are uh, are, are, are really inspirational. I, I really appreciate your work. Uh, I really. Uh, I always thank God for you guys because you're really deep down in the in the word and um, it motivates me, gives me hope because I see you guys and I really appreciate uh, all the work, the hard work you guys put in. It seems like nothing. People think that making videos is easy. They think that uh, doing researches, um, being in front of a computer, it's easy. But you know what? It drains. It drains you. Uh, I have a full-time job, and I, I, I don't do videos often. I did quite a few, because uh, the, the, the Lord, well, the Lord, when I say the Lord, is I felt it spiritually to do it. Because I don't like using that term, ah, oh, the Lord spoke to me, or this, and that, and it's always, the Lord told me this, the Lord, yes, the Lord speaks to me, but it's more spiritually than hearing voices, or, anyways, that's that's me. So, I just want to say thank you, and uh, you really you really inspire me to 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 make these kind of videos, and uh, to get the truth out there. And um, I hope I hope um, people really wake up because I don't I don't feel it like that this is going towards the good path. There could be an awakening, but. 
it's now I find it's too compact. Like I find it's it's there's too many events and there's uh, there's so much lawlessness and and people are so blind. They think about themselves so much. They think they could be their own god, make their own rules. Like I don't know. I find that people will not be able to get out of that bubble. Like people are taking selfies at, at ten years old. They already have a cell phone taking selfies. They don't talk to nobody. They're just concentrating on social media. Listen, uh, it wasn't that way. And uh, Daniel says that uh, when knowledge increases, um, we'll, we'll see the end. Why I'm saying that is because we reached at a point where they might be able to make blind people see. They already have the technology for it. They're going to start trying it out. So we're at the point where people can see, are going to be able to see. Um, there's brain chips that are able to uh, make people get out of, uh, make people like be cured from certain diseases. And there's so much things going on right now, and there's so many things we don't know that are behind all this. That I think God is like is is keeping it from not coming out because there's a time for it. But I think everything is in play. I think everything is set, and there will be. A time and a moment where God is just going to let it be because people are not repenting. People don't believe in that thing anymore. Um, their hearts got cold. They're destroying their bodies and the mind is literally lost. So when you have those three things, the heart, the body and the mind, well, the person is destroyed. Basically, there's nothing left unless you find God, you find Jesus Christ as your Savior. And it seems like people are really not getting into that. So the only thing I could say is for people to please get salvation. Uh, look into the Bible and just just try to find peace, love, humble yourself, ask God to come into your heart. Uh, into you and, and change you <clears throat> so I really encourage people to uh, maybe read the, at least the John 3 16 which says that God sent his only beloved son that whoever so believes in him will have everlasting life um, we have to remember that Jesus Christ's blood is the only way to get salvation is to believe, to confess, and mean it. It's not just to say it, because anybody can say what I just said. But if you don't truly believe it from the heart, you won't be able to be accepted by the Lord. The Lord will open the door if you truly want to believe in Him. And you have to mean it from the heart. He knows your heart. He knows who you are even before the foundation even before he created the foundation of this earth. So I'm, I'm really hoping that whoever watches this video um, doesn't get offended and actually takes that second to say, you know what, maybe this life is going to ruins and maybe I do need, and, and I do need a savior because people today are just enjoying life by getting more materialistic more partying, more, 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 more. Now that this is out because of this COVID, there's so many suicides and so many bad things happening. People shooting each other, killing each other. People can say, oh yeah, in history there was always a chaos. Or Globally right now, we've reached at a, at a peak. And don't forget, we're more population, so there's more corruption. But this is going to have to end one day. And I think God is going to, just terminate it because um, there won't be much time left. But I'm not talking for God right now. This is my opinion. But I, I know that God will terminate it and uh, take his saved ones. For whoever believes in him will be raptured. So the blessed hope is uh, to wait for the glorious return of the Lord Jesus Christ in the clouds. And uh, to come and uh, snatch us out. And once he does... There's going to be a seven-year tribulation, and 
I just hope for you guys that uh, you get saved before that happens because this is not even a grain of salt that that's falling on the floor and compare what's going to be on the, on the tribulation. So I'll leave you on that. You have yourself a good night and I'll try to make uh, more videos if you like this one. Uh, have a good one. Thank you.